Uh, hi, my name is Zubeyde. I am a teacher in Turkey. The name of our study, uh, Metaphorical Perceptions of Gifted and Normally Developing Students on the Concept of Solving Mathematical Problems. Um, the metaphor, which is based on the Greek and is stated to be formed by the combination, the words meta, which is used to change and preparing, which is used to in the sense of carrying and first explain by Lakoff and Janssen, um, making a well-known concept or situation known by linking it to another concept or situation is explained as the tra transfer of meaning. Uh, metaphor is explained uh, of word using problems instead of its known uh, and acceptable meaning. Uh, one of two ways to determine perception on individuals towards an object and action include metaphors. Metaphor connects the object or phenomenon we want to understand to a network of concepts that belong to another limb of meaning, allows us to uh, concept, concept to allies see from different direction and eliminate somewhere uh, previously overlooked situations. Uh, in the Nidaradur default, there are metaphor studies on the concept of mathematics, mathematics problem, mathematics teacher, problem building, teaching mathematic problem solving. The mat uh, metaphorical perception of primary and secondary school students about the concept of problem solving are discussed, where the metaphorical perception of teacher candidates are discussed. Within the available researches, there have been the studies in which uh, the perception of gifted and normally developing primary school students about mathematical problem solving are three to determine together. Um, in addition, it was wondered why, what kind of the metaphor the students created about problem solving, under which concept categories were gathered in terms of common categories, categories of metaphors, and how the concept categories were distribution according to uh, various variables uh, like gender, uh, gifted or not. Um, question uh, research, uh, there are three uh, question research. Um, firstly, what are categories that emerge in students' metaphors for mathematical problem solving? Uh, secondly, how are the categories that emerge in the metaphors that students use for mathematical problem solving? The spreads according to gender and the status of gifted normal developing students. Uh, totally question, what kind of uh, metaphors do students use to express mathematical problem solving? Um, the research is a quality study uh, in this research. Uh, the study group of this study uh, consists of 106 gifted students who are already have been determined to be gifted by exam conducted by the Ministry of National Education and 100 students with normal development st studying in Turkey. Uh, in this study, uh, easily accessible, accessible situation sample method was adopted in determining the working group. Demographic information on this study group is presented table one. Uh, data collection, uh, tool and collection data, uh, the form developed by a researcher and used as data collection tool consists of two parts. Uh, in this part to determine the demographic information about the students, the second part consists of an open uh, and that metaphor question for uh, research pu uh, purpose. Purpose in line with the expert opinion, the students who participate in the research were asked. Um, in my opinion, mathematical problem solving blah blah is like because blah blah. Students were asked to develop a metaphor about mathematical problem solving and explain their rational. Rational. Uh, the data uh, were categorized it used quality data analysis method. Uh, finding uh, 
eight four metaphors and seven categories were created by taking as uh, expert opinion for the metaphors that were examined in the section and conducted by a total of 206 students and that express similar or the same meaning products by uh, for the concept of mathematical problem solving the categories created and the subcategories in some categories are presented in figure one Uh, according to uh, con uh, according to uh, content of the metaphors reducted uh, by the students subcategories uh, were defined in the conceptual categories of containing positively and containing negatively in the table two the description of conceptual categories and sub uh, categories according to gender uh, of the students their giftances uh, giftances uh, from um, table two, it can be said that many students uh, predict metaphors in the conceptual categories of containing positively more than female uh, students, and students with normal development predicted metaphors in the conception category more than gifted students. In addition, it is seen that female students predict uh, metaphor in the conceptual category of negative more than male students uh, and students with normal developments more than gifted students. Um, for uh, conceptual category of positively uh, student, there are uh, there are uh, 38 metaphors. Uh, students say, for example, uh, mathematical problem solving, child baby doll, uh, or puzzle, uh, or hobby, uh, or uh, color. Um, uh, for it, some, some students say uh, it is like uh, eating a jar of Nutella. I eat as it uh, eat uh, because I love uh, I love Nutella. So when I saw mat, I saw it uh, as much as I saw it. Uh, different students say it is uh, like a baby toy. It is easy. I am uh, I am able to understand it, and I do it uh, again every day. Uh, for conceptual category of negatively, uh, there are uh, sixty metaphor uh, such as. A, to, uh, a toy to be uh, exceptional, uh, paper, paper, uh, salted ice cream. Um, some uh, example sta statements uh, in conceptual category. Uh, for example, student, um, students say it is like eating an apple. Normally, I am very comfortable, but sometimes I can I cannot show the core question. So I cannot figure out in uh, figure it out, but easily, but uh, usually figure it uh, out. Uh, different students say boring. Uh, I do. Uh, I I don't enjoy it. Uh, for conceptual category of necessary, students say, uh, for example, a life needs uh, oxygen, uh, important drinking water, eating. Uh, uh, for example, students say, I like my life because I associate uh, it uh, with my life. And different students say, important solving the problems in mathematics, in my opinion, uh, brain training. Um, concept for conceptual category of improvement, uh, there are 60 metaphors. Uh, 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 Pardon, uh, eight metaphor uh, such as uh, playing video games, uh, solving puzzle, bex game. Uh, students say, for example, students say it is like a playing a computer game. You improve as you solve. Uh, different students say it is like the board games. As you do, you need to think about things as you progress. Uh, other conceptual categories uh, for other conceptual categories. Uh, you're, there running, are, you're running out of time. Okay, okay. And there are six metaphors. Um, students say, for example, 
uh, enough, it's relaxed me that I do not understand uh, um, it was seen that a total uh, 84 metaphors were developed from the seven conceptual categories obtained from the student as for the concept of mathematical problem solving, including 37, 37 the conceptual category containing positively, um, eight, um, 60 in the conceptual category negatively, uh, 80 in the conceptual categories containing necessity and developing, developing and 50 in the conceptual categories, including drug therapy, goal, or uh, research and train it, no, nature and natural panamol, uh, panamol. of the uh, 84 metaphors, uh, 31 were created only by students with special talents or gifted uh, students, um, 33 were performed only by students with normal development, a dual bar format white but groups students. And the majority of students project product um, metaphors that express that they like to solve mathematical problems and fun in fun. In addition, some of the students project metaphor that state that they found it's easy to solve mathematical problems. Uh, it was observed in this study that a uh, a portion of the students participant in the study has a negative perception to towards solving mathematical problems. In addition, it was observed that female students predict metaphor in the conceptual category of negative more than male students and students with normal development more uh, than gifted students. Problem solving, uh, the case is that need to be developed in providing conceptual learning in mathematical education. Students' perfection of uh, perception of mathematical problem solving affects their problem solving. In this research, students' perception of problem solving were tried to determine through metaphors. There may be a various of reason for students' perception of problem solving. It may be suggested to carry out studies at different grade level of samples to reveal these causes. The reason for the perception that mathematical is difficult to solve the problems and the perception of negatively can be investigated. Thus, measures can be taken to address the factors that cause the formation of negative perception. Thanks.